human workers who do things like flip burgers. Restaurant chain here is now using a robot to take over that job. Let's check it out. Here to discuss Richard Fowler, a radio host and Fox News contributor. Guy Benson, the political editor for townhall.com and Fox News contributor. And Ted Gaines, a Republican state senator here in California. Welcome to all of you. Good to be here, Shannon. All right, uh, Senator, I'll start with you. Sure. Flippy the robot is now this robot that actually can measure the patties and flip them at just the right time. But that's a job that's now not going to be done by a human. What that's do you make right. of it? That's right. So when we take a look at minimum wage, and that is 10 50 an hour right now in California, and it's going to go up by an hour, a dollar an hour up through 2022, we're going to displace literally hundreds of thousands of employees in California. So when we look at the new technology, which we know is coming, we accelerate that in California by artificially raising wages. Okay, so I want to look at a couple of uh, different studies here. The American Action Forum has said 261,000 jobs could be lost in 2018 due to minimum wage hikes. University of Washington said when Seattle did this and pushed for the $13 minimum wage, uh, that it actually cut hours and left workers with $125 less a month, Richard. Well, here's what we know. Every time that we in this country have raised the minimum wage, we actually see our economy grow leaps and bounds. The last time the federal government raised minimum wage was, I think, 2006. Uh, and we saw the economy grow right after that. So uh, here's what we, and, and, I mean, I'll be honest with you. I'd rather have a human flip my burger than a robot. I think they have, you know, they, they could just cook <laughs> meat better. Just saying. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. They said that this thing actually has sensors, Guy, that can tell the perfect time to flip it over, unlike most of us when we're doing this on the grill at home, don't always get it right. Um, but the guy who's the co-founder of the company behind me said this, the technology's not about replacing jobs. We see Flippy as a third hand. So it's just supposed to help current uh, employees. But we know a lot of fast food folks say that they're putting in kiosks, they're doing all kinds of things so that they're not charging us $50 for a hamburger. Yep, automation is the future. That is a fact. I think these political efforts to artificially inflate by government fiat wages, as the representative said, hastens that uh, that process and that trend. And this is something that we have to deal with. That's not a political statement to make. This is the way that our economy is going to be radically disrupted over the next decade or two. And clinging to the past and marching for, you know, fight for 15, it might feel good, but it doesn't reflect reality. So I, I want to push back on that a little bit. Well, uh, and here's where I disagree with Guy, uh, is that here's the thing, we know that when we raise minimum wage, we actually help families, right? We we solve poverty. No, we don't no, know we, that. But, we, but, we, but it's true. Um, when you raise a minimum no. wage in communities, you help families, you uplift the communities, you create new businesses, you create new innovations, and but we Richard, also no, know... Result, Richard, if the end result is that there are fewer hours because employers say, we only have a jobs. certain amount of funds that we can use. Well, this is, well, this is, then what? But herein lies a larger problem, right? It's over and over again. There's corporate, there's money given out to corporations at, at nauseum. We saw this tax cut give billions of dollars to corporations, and their response is, oh, well, we don't All have right. the money to pay workers. No. They raised they raised wages more uh, than most wait. of these leftist. Uh, so what, if, they're, if they've raised wages, I know that there is much more to say, but gentlemen, we, we got to leave it there for tonight. We got to leave it there for tonight. But before we go, we would like to thank Visit 